The alum curve shows different combinations of interest rate and level of output where the financial market is in equilibrium. But if we look at the alum curve, and we take two points, we want to know what are the differences between, say, point A and point B on the alum curve. Now, before we compare point B with point A, we must remember the alum curve is derived for a given supply of money. So the money supply didn't change in this comparison. In moving from point A to point B, the level of production decreased. So the level of production is lower. This lower level of production led to a lower level demand for goods and services. Therefore, the demand for money also decreased. Therefore, we're going to buy bonds and the price of bonds will increase. The increase in the price of bonds will lead to a decrease in the interest rate. This chain of events is one of the more important relationships in the ISL model because it gives us the link between the goods sector and the financial sector.